Bienvenue à Easy Ma Cuisine or welcome to Easy Ma Cuisine. I'm Natasha and I'm Marie Jose. Today we are going to show you how to make a fish burger with the basil aioli. You know, as a kid I really did not like fish, but when we went to the market when we lived in France and we got um, fish and we made these burgers, I just started loving fish. Okay, so let's go check out our ingredients. Okay, so here are the ingredients that you will need to make your fish burgers. You're going to need two sourdough buns. Um, Mom, would you like to explain the fish? For the fish, I use uh, some salmon and I usually mix it with the white fish. Today, I bought some cod, but you can use snapper, tilapia, whatever you find in the store. About how much of each? Um, half a pound each. We're going to need ginger, cilantro, and green onions and one tomato. You're also going to need some sesame oil. Um, here are the ingredients for our um, basil aioli. You're going to need, of course, some basil, one garlic clove, one egg yolk, um, Dijon mustard, and extra virgin olive oil. And you're also going to need a little bit of salt. Okay, so mom, let's get cooking. So for your basil aioli, you're going to Put your egg yolk in the minui cuisine. You are going to crush the garlic with it. I always use my little garlic press to make it easy. And I'm going to add a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. Voilà. Now I'm going to put my basil leaves. And I just start with a little bit of olive oil and you start to run your machine. And now you keep adding your olive oil little by little. into a bowl and don't get discouraged if it doesn't work the first time sometimes it happens that your aioli or mayonnaise will break so what you do you just get another egg and a little bit more mustard and you start over but it doesn't happen very often so if it happens you just have to deal with it so now we are going to put the aioli in the fridge until we need it Okay, mom, so show us how to make the fish burgers. Alright, first we are going to uh, cube the salmon a little bit. And this salmon has no bone. Make sure you get boneless. So now you cube your white fish. There we are. And now the fish is going to go in the cuisine just to, it's easier than to try to chop it by hand. We'll take a second here. So you just get a few pulps. into the bowl where I'm going to mix it with the herbs and the ginger. And you can see the consistency of the fish, you know, it's stick, still chunky. So now I'm going to add my uh, green onions, my cilantro and my ginger is chopped so it goes straight in the bowl and this just probably good so I'm going to put this in the bowl there we are and all we're going to add is a pinch of salt again not too much, I don't like to use too much salt and about 
a teaspoon of um, sesame oil. Brings a nice flavor again. So now you mix things together. Just like that. And we'll be able to make our patties. See, it has a nice color and you'll get a very nice flavor. Okay, this is ready. We can make our patties. That's what it should look like. So now I'm going to make my patties. Okay. You really don't need to work it a lot. That's exactly how it should be. And you see, I'll be able to make three fish burgers with it. Just flatten them a little bit. So I'm going to put my burger on the uh, barbecue. Now you make sure that your barbecue is nice and clean and you put some little bit of grease on it. So. so I'm going to turn my, you see it's perfect. You don't have to crisscross, turn them only once. And it'll take about four minutes on each side. All right, so another three minutes. So my burger is almost ready to go, so now I can put my buns. Alright, so I'm going to take the burgers. They are ready. Now we get the buns. Perfect. So now I can turn off my barbecue. So now that we have our grilled fish burgers and aioli in our buns and tomato, we're ready to put together our burgers. So all you need to do is to put some aioli on the bottom of the bun. You take one fish burger like this, put a nice slice of tomato, and we're going to put more aioli. Here we are. We have a wonderful fish burger. And now, if you don't have a grill, the option is also to uh, pan, pan fry your uh, fish. So you can do that all year round and uh, don't feel like you have to use your barbecue. So we hope you've enjoyed our show and don't forget to check us out next week when we'll be teaching you how to make my grandmother's coffee cake. I'm MJ. And I'm Natasha on Easy, Easy Mac Cuisine. Cuisine. See you next week. Let's enjoy our wonderful fish burger. This looks Bon appétit. Really